Hi, welcome to the Film Prop channel. Today I'm going to tell you about a martial arts movie from 1978 called, The Drunken Master. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support me with a like. That way the channel will grow. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Jim T. Sam, known as Lightning Leg, is ordered to kill an equally famous fighter, Charlie Way. When they run into each other, Way recognizes Lightning Leg's power and tries to pay him off, but it's too late. He's booked. Lightning Foot delivers his crowning punch and kills Wei. Wang Fei Hong, nicknamed Freddy, is the son of a famous Kung Fu master. He and his friend constantly fool around in class, teasing their teacher. The teacher gets angry and tells our hero that being the son of a Kung Fu master is not an excuse to make fun of whoever he wants. Then Freddy shows him what he's not happy with the training and starts a fight with the teacher, which he easily wins. After class, Freddy and his friends have lunch together, but suddenly a beautiful girl walks past them. Our hero promises that she will throw herself on his chest and goes after her. Freddy pretends to get something in his eye. He asks the girl to blow on her eye, deftly placing his cheek. And gets a coveted kiss. But the girl still doesn't throw herself on his chest. Then he releases the snake that was lying in a bucket nearby, the girl jumps on him and our hero saves her from the snake. Freddy's friends are thrilled, he did it. But then the girl's mother intervenes. She turns out to be a very strong fighter and teaches our hero a lesson, after which he runs away, admitting defeat. Mr. Lee, the son of a businessman strolls along with his subordinate and approaches a poor man who is selling a jade ornament. Its price is 10 bucks. Lee says it is very expensive, despite his father's fortune, and takes the item from the poor man, leaving him with only 10 cents. When he starts begging Mr. Lee to give him back the precious thing because it is all he has left, Lee smashes it and beats the poor man. But then Freddy intervenes, sticking up for the poor man. The fight is very tense, Lee takes up the sword out of cowardice, nearly killing our hero several times. Freddy manages not only to deftly steal money from his pocket and give it to the poor man, but also disarms Lee, teaching him a good lesson. Freddy comes home and learns that his aunt and cousin have come to visit. It is, of course, good news, but it turns out to be the girl who was molested by our hero and her masterful kung fu mother. When his father finds out about it, he starts to teach Freddy a lesson. But his father is interrupted by Mr. Lee's family running into the house. Lee Sr. points to his son, all bandaged up and tied to a wooden stretcher. He intends to avenge him. Freddy's father is going to kill his son, unable to bear the shame of his actions, although he does not know what motivated the beating of Lee Jr. Then Freddy's aunt suggests that one of the Lee family's servants, beat her nephew ten times as punishment. The bully assures her that Freddy will lie down in three strokes. But our hero cannot just take three blows and defends himself, making the stubborn bully angry. When the servant of the Lee family strikes already 10 blows, that is the promised maximum, he does not calm down and his aunt allows the young man to fight him back. Freddy masterfully tackles him, earning his father's respect. But this respect is still not enough for the father to forgive his irresponsible behavior. As punishment, he makes his son stand in a horse pose, with Chinese teapots filled with boiling water on his legs and arms, while his teacher taunts him and tickles him with feathers. But our hero has found a way out of this situation, too. His friend has secretly brought a coaster on which to sit and make the punishment much easier. When Freddy's father comes to check on his son, he sees this coaster and changes the punishment to another. He is assigned a new teacher, master so high, and made to stand on wooden sticks with a heavy vase of water tied to him. But Freddy is again helped by his friend, who brings him food and frees him from his torture. The friend tells of Sao Hai's reputation and how all his students lose their teeth and hair after practicing with him, if they survive at all. He's a real executioner, the friend assures him. Then Freddy and him decide to run away. Freddy arrives at the cafe and gets a seat at the man's side, ordering lots of food and sharing it with him to pay. After eating his fill, he tries to escape, saying that the man he was sitting with was his father and he would pay for everything. But the man turns out to be the owner of the place and Freddy is attacked by a thug. A big scuffle breaks out in the cafe. Our hero clearly loses. But an old drunkard, previously sleeping at the table, stands up for him. Together they fight everybody off and escape. Freddy meets a drunkard named So. Because of the similarity in the name, the young man recalls So High, who was assigned to him as his teacher, whom he never saw, but already hates him for the ordeal he received. Freddy promises to chop So High into little pieces if he meets him. But who is this Su? Our hero asks him to tell him more about himself. The sky is my roof and the earth is my bed, everybody knows me, I'm So High. Freddy laughs and at first can't believe it, then abruptly realizes it wasn't a joke and runs off at full speed. Stopping to catch his breath, he finds his hand tied and held by So High himself. They engage in a duel and Freddy, of course, loses, 
thereby agreeing to be trained by so high. Freddy's friend wasn't lying, the training is really hard for our hero. He can't even escape, so high as tied his toes to the rope of his hand. On one training day, the young man had to transfer water from one tank to another while standing on them. Freddy decides to cheat, he falls into the tank, making the teacher worry, and when the teacher decides to check on the student, pulls him into the tank and covers him with the lid. He manages to escape. He stops at the first place he can find and dries his clothes on the fire. But suddenly it turns out that this place belongs to the very same fighter from the beginning of the movie, Lightning Leg. Unfortunately, Freddy doesn't know who he is and is rude to him, picking a fight. Lightning Leg beats the young man badly, burning his clothes. But saves his life and lets him go. Freddy feels humiliated, remembering Lightning Leg's words, and is determined to start practicing Kung Fu hard. So he returns to his teacher, who holds a grudge against him, but soon forgives him and continues to train. No matter how much Freddy tries to cheat, So High always notices it and teaches him a lesson. Together with his teacher, he goes to town to make money gambling because So High is out of wine. Luck is clearly on their side, thanks to Su High's lightning fast reaction. But one of the organizers decides to cheat him out of resentment for lost money. Freddy's teacher immediately notices the trouble and incriminates the man for cheating. Then the organizers yell police. And everyone scatters away. Freddy, indignant at this behavior, goes after the bald man who cheated them and asks for his money back. A fight ensues, which reveals that the man is none other than Ironhead. Freddy fails to deal with him, at which point the teacher comes to the rescue. Together they dismantle him and take their fair money. The grueling training continues. So High sends our hero to get some wine. Freddy arrives at the cafe and orders a huge meal along with wine for the teacher, which he almost drinks. The young man thinks of outsmarting So High and diluting the leftovers with water from the kettle. At the same time, his teacher goes crazy without alcohol, his hands are shaking, and he can't wait for the wine, but here comes the bandaged iron head and his fellow bamboo king, who has long wanted to settle a score with the old man. They don't believe the real So High is in front of them and decide to test it in battle. But the old man is weak without alcohol and is more defensive than attacking. Luckily, Freddy manages to get back and throws him a vial of wine. So High rejoices at this, until he takes a sip and discovers that the inside is just water. Sensing his weakness, So High cunningly hides with Freddy and they manage to avoid defeat. He apologizes to his teacher and hints that he could have fought back against the Bamboo King had he been better trained. To which Su Hai responds with nothing but laughter. Freddy's father gave him to the old man because he has a secret technique, and all the previous training was just so that the young man could withstand the training. So High's secret technique is called the Eight Styles of a Drunkard. Its essence is that one looks defenseless when drunk, but all the power is inside and that is what allows one to win. To master the technique, they must constantly drink wine. On the first night, Freddy gets drunk out of his mind. Thereafter, he masters all eight techniques, disdaining the last one, Miss Ho, the drunken woman, because of the excessive femininity in his movements. Meanwhile, Mr. Lee Sr. comes to Freddy's father and questions him about why he is coaxing the people who own the hills not to sell them to him. Mr. Lee begins to lie and tries to convince him of the necessity of the hills for him. But Mr. Wong knows Lee's sincere intentions, these hills are rich in coal and he wants to get his hands on them. But the hills belong to the people. After receiving a refusal, Lee leaves, threatening Wong. After a while, Lightning Leg receives a new order. It is Robert Wong, our hero's father during a walk, Freddy sees the King of Bamboo and provokes him into a fight, while drinking wine in parallel. The young man easily manages to defeat the Bamboo King. Despite his drunken state, his agility and strength are astonishing. Before leaving, he takes two kegs of wine with him. When he returns to the house, he finds no teacher. In his place, there is a note on the table, in which So High explains that Freddy is trained in technique, which means his assignment is over, and he leaves the apprentice. Meanwhile, one of the apprentices comes running to Robert Wong and says that Mr. Lee is starting to dig coal on the hill. Wong instantly catches up and runs after the apprentice, but he turns out to be a traitor and leads him to Lightning Leg. He attacks him from behind cover and starts beating him. Wong questions him about who he is and his enemy identifies himself. Robert recalls that he is the one who betrayed his brother for money. Their fight continues, Wong almost loses to Lightning Leg, when suddenly his son, Freddy, appears. He defends his father. But before the fight begins, So High arrives. The killer is frightened and asks So High to leave, but he swears he won't interfere because Freddy will do everything on his own. A fight breaks out between Freddy and Lightning Foot. So High throws the apprentice a bottle of wine, which he drinks right during the fight. The wine turns out to be fortified and Freddy gets decently drunk, he staggers from side to side. 
His opponent scrutinizes him, but does not decide to attack. But when he does attack, he is hit hard by the young man. Freddy forgets to change techniques, and his teacher reminds him to do so. Moving from technique to technique, he manages to land a lot of lightning leg kicks. But his opponent gets fed up with it and changes techniques himself, severely beating Freddy. Our hero needs to do something urgently, or he will lose. Lightning Foot asks, how many more drunks do you have left? That's when Freddy thinks of drunk Miss Ho. But he hasn't worked her off. Then So High tells him to combine all the previous seven styles and get one of his own. The unique style of drunk Miss Ho. Freddy manages to combine everything. Now he fights like no one else can. Their matchmaking continues. Lightning Foot gets a lot of punches and it pisses him off, forcing him to use his trademark leg kick. But the punch doesn't kill Freddy, it doesn't even knock him unconscious and our hero continues to fight. Remembering all his previous training and skills, he defeats his nemesis. Freddy saves his father and regains his trust. He is now Robert Wong's son again and a great kung fu fighter. Thanks for watching. You can also watch a video on the movie Drunken Master 2. The link is in the description.